Hey guys, Anthony Scott, ToyHypeUSA.com. I'm here with John Warden of Hasbro's Transformers team. John, always a pleasure to see you. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great. And you know, I love coming to this event every year because it just gives me a chance to talk to fans and, and just just experience it. You know, there's just so much happening in San Diego this time of year, and, and um, it's a, just a great time to be a fan, especially this year because it's the 35th anniversary. Yeah, there's that in the 50th anniversary of Comic Con. I know, right? Yeah, it's a big, it's like a big celebration. It's awesome. It's, it's a very big year, one of the biggest. And with Unicorn coming, Unicron, you know, Unicron, excuse me, that's, uh, <laughs> that makes it even bigger. Oh yeah, no, he's he's definitely the biggest Transformer ever created, Transformers toy ever created. 27 inches tall in robot mode, 30 inches diameter in planet mode, uh, whopping 19 pound sphere. Which is amazing. <laughs> and all for a bargain price, let me tell you. Well, I, I, I think we, we wanted to make sure we didn't pull any punches on Unicron. This is our one shot to get it right. And we didn't want to compromise on, on things that we, you know, because you can't go back and redo it. You can't go back in and add articulation or deco or things like that. You can't change the scale. So we knew we had wanted to make him as uh, accurate as possible to the 1986 movie. And to do that, um, really the best platform for it is, Has, is HasLab and, and uh, working with the great people at Pulse to really make this thing in uh, the backers, to be honest, and the support of fans uh, here at Comic-Con and all over the world. Yeah, that's the only way you could fund a project like that. The sale bars is through a Kickstarter type event. Yeah, it's yeah. It's cost to uh, go into production. No, it's great, and and you know, it, I think it built it, something awesome like uh, Unicron. Really, it just it can only be made possible by the fact that the Transformers War for Cybertron universe is is so popular with fans right now. So popular, in fact, that we added a Wave Five up here, which is incredible. You know, we've got Spinister right here. Uh, Spinister is a deluxe class character. He's he's nice and tall. You can see he's got dueling cannons. Probably my favorite part about this guy is uh, he's got double cockpits on his legs, which seems like crazy impossible. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> but um, you might remember that the 80s toy had kind of like a strange, like, single leg transformation. Uh, they, uh, yeah, so it's been such a long time. He's a target master, so he, um, it, all those toys kind of had an unusual thing. So he's not the only target master. On the other side, you can kind of catch a picture of his back over there. Um, there's crosshairs, nice uh, new head and redeco of, of Worf Cybertron Ironhide. But right up here in front is one of my personal favorites, a leader class Astro Train based on the G1 model sheet, cartoon accurate colors, uh, a cool steam engine alt form. Um, and this time we've actually, because he's part of Worf of Cybertron, we've included a cool like weapons box that, that uh, you can see here. Uh, that actually can unfold. It holds a litany of different armaments that he can carry. Uh, and then in train mode, this becomes the tender on the back of the steam train. And then in, uh, in shuttle mode, it opens up to become like a launch gantry. Um, uh, okay. And you might notice, see those little, uh, those little elements there uh, along the bottom? Those are actually compatible with Omega Supreme as well as uh, Fortress Maximus. So what do you mean compatible? Where, where does it go? You can, they snap together. You can see the same, the same fitting is actually used elsewhere uh, on other Transformers toys. Actually, oh, okay. honestly, going back to Titans Return Soundwave. Okay. That's cool. You're doing a great job on these, let me Thanks. tell you. And we've also got some other cool guys and fans of the late 80s. MicroMasters, we've got the duo cons here. They're able, they're able to join together to, to form a, a, a single uh, battle, this is a battle squad. They're, a, they're able to join together to form that tank mode. Cool Decepticon uh, MicroMasters. And then over there in the back is one of the, you know, the, the small, uh, small but mighty rung from the IDW series. Right. Um, the, our, everyone's favorite favorite uh, psychiatrist, <laughs> and uh, you see Ratbat and um, and Rumble in the oh, back Rumble, there. Yeah, that's cool. And then over in the corner, you oh yeah, that's Singe. Singe is a battle master, uh, which which fits in line with the rest of um, uh, War for Cybertron. He has removable blast effects. And over there in the corner, you can just catch his back is Ape Face. Ape Face is kind of a cult favorite. He has a removable right. Titan Master called Spasma, and he's completely backwards compatible with all those Titans Return toys you have. Is he a Voyager or a Deluxe? He is a Voyager, and he is also a Triple Changer. He has a he has an Ape mode as well. 
that we, uh, because we only have two samples here, we don't have a Zape mode on display, but there's great pictures of it online. Uh, in terms of exclusives, down here on the second shelf, we've got Generation Selects Lancer for those fans out there who are trying to complete the Orthea combiner with the Lita One for Power of the Primes. We've also got kind of a cool cult hit in Galactic Man Shockwave, oh God. which uh, which is on sale. I heard here at the Entertainment Earth booth, which is pretty awesome. But uh, uh, I don't think fan, it, I was there and he wasn't yeah, there. Yeah, I might be maybe sold out. I know some people picked him up. But you can see he's got the cool red uh, ocular eye as well as the Galactic Man written on his chest, just like the original Galactic Man. Um, and then we've also got Voyager Red Wing, which is a, which is a great obscure seeker for those of those fans that are uh, building their seeker armor. And then right down here, speaking of seekers, we're proud to announce the Rainmaker Three Pack. Now these guys. Uh, these guys are, I believe, a Target exclusive, and um, you'll probably remember them from uh, the original G1 pilot episode where they're chasing after Bumblebee and Wheeljack. Yeah. Um, awesome neon, bright neon I colors. Remember, I think when they were introducing these characters, some of them were color mistakes. Yeah, well, I, 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 I mean, who knows? G1 had a ton yeah. of color mistakes. <laughs> Yeah. But um, and fans, they eventually named them. I they think did. That's how yeah, it went. yeah, that's they, they. Um, I think what's cool about them is they're genuine to what they are. They right. appeared as Tetra Jets in the original uh, pilot, and we're bringing them to life here for Warp Cybertron. They all come together as a, as a big set. Uh, and then, and speaking of sets, we also have the MicroMasters um, Battlefield set here, where you get 10 figures. A lot of these are, are kind of cool deep cuts for all of you late 80s MicroMasters fans out there. A lot of a lot of cool stuff, and even some new characters like Rykon there. It's, it's a brand new red uh, truck transformer. So lots of cool stuff coming uh, for War for Cybertron. Um, we've, got, we've got some great studio series uh, toys as well for fans of the movie. Um, we've got movie masterpiece uh, toys for fans that want like the premium format finish. And, uh, and honestly, one of my favorite things, because it is the 35th anniversary, there's no, uh, there's no there's nothing like the original, and we are able, proud to announce that we have G1 Soundwave here, available exclusively as part of the Walmart's G1 program, okay. as well as the cassette, the cassette transformers. Now, there are no differences between this Soundwave and other G1 reissue Soundwaves, right? No, this this is uh, this this is very similar. But I think one of the biggest uh, the biggest um, things that fans can get is the original box art. You know, yeah. to be able to experience uh, getting Soundwave at retail. Um, and, and even keeping them in package like that, I think, is something really, really appealing about that. I still remember that was the hardest toy in the world to get. <laughs> and they, like when they really? first came out, it was like nobody had it. Only like the cool kids at school had it. And it was something like, you know, I, I think I had, I had the tapes before I had sound with. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, lots of great stuff coming for, for War for Cybertron as well as G1. Studio okay. series, movie masterpiece, and it'd be great to close on probably the biggest, coolest guy from War for Cybertron up here on the top shelf. That was Springer. Oh, just yeah, looking yeah, at Springer. Yeah, Springer, Voyager class Springer. Uh, is retail now. Um, and this is Omega and Supreme. Here we go. Omega Supreme, uh, Titan class character, lots of awesome articulation, including waist articulation. Um, just like the original, he uh, breaks into different components that then assemble. To become uh, to become a rocket, which actually has a secret a secret spot up top for the um, for a micromaster, like a little uh, a little place you put a micromaster. Oh inside. yeah, I remember it being displayed with a little micromaster. Yeah, and what you can that? you can open up the front of the tank, put a micromaster inside there. Right. Um, and it really what it does is because he's the last line of defense for the Autobots. This is the chance for the Autobots to make one last valiant stand. Well, they picked a powerhouse, let me tell you. They did, yeah. He's, he's awesome. So he'll be available in the fall. Okay. Uh, not August? Because some places have him listed as August. Yeah, we we, um, we want to make sure Omega Supreme is, is done 100% right. You know, and the product that we ship to the consumer is, is the highest quality possible. So um, expect this character to ship in the fall. Okay. It's fine. And um, let's, we missed a couple. Oh, Optimus yeah, there's Prime. Leader Class Optimus Prime. Um, 
This is based Thunder on the, uh, yeah, the, the Armada series, and there's Thundercracker. Thundercracker is cool because it's actually the animation blue, which is a nice lighter blue. Right. And then down on the bottom shelf, you've got a couple more Walmart exclusives. You've got Sound Blaster with a, with a wider chest plate. Uh, that Sound Blaster over there has um, the ability to hold two cassette tapes in his chest. Um, and then you've also got Blue Streak. Blue Streak is a, is a redeco that, one of the classic redecos to be honest. And fun fact, my first Transformer when I was a kid was Blue Streak. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, and we, we matched him to the animation model sheet with the black stripe. Okay. Looks great. And we've got lots more here. Uh, you, you'll, uh, you can, if you swing around the other side of the case, we've got um, exclusives like the three pack. We've got uh, we've got a great two pack. We've got an exclusive uh, um, Skywarp. We've got Wave Four on display over there, and we've even got a Walgreens Ratchet. If you want to oh, check boy. that guy out as well, I definitely will, John. John, uh, thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Always good to see you, and uh, thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Always oh, love always. talking to you. Yeah, yeah, likewise, and uh, have a great time at Comic Con. Thank you. This is Anthony Scott. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and. Look for more great Transformers coverage. Thanks. Thanks a lot. I think they might be targeting. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to do a quick walkthrough of the rest of the figures on display. This is what John was talking about. Fans here are giving out a free Transformers poster available right now in the Hasbro booth. Head on over to the Hasbro booth for your free War for Cybertron poster. And these two guys combine and form into this camera. Well, I actually, correction, these three form into the camera. All right, here's Jetfire. And here's the other side of Omega Supreme. See all the Micro Masters. Can be placed around. There's a blast effect. Here's the back of Omega Supreme. Right, 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 right. In the front of Jetfire. And this is the red alert that's exclusive to Walgreens. Thanks guys, this is Anthony Scott, Toy Hype USA. Make sure to click the link on the site before you shop for Transformers Toys and help support us. And to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Here's just a quick back look of everything. Thanks guys.